16 or am I still isolated because I have an issue? And so this issue kept her locked away, watching other people succeed in life looking at other things proliferate and grow while she has no opportunity to make anything grow. How frustrating can it be to have a skill to do something but not a place to do it in? How devastating can it be to have an opportunity to see something larger but then nobody sees it but you. Wow. That we can put billboards out about where we're going and they still can't see where we're going. Wow. <laughs> that I can put it on I can put it on <clears throat> potato chip bags. <laughs> hmm? yeah. I can have all of them say they're with me and still not feel their support. Oh, Lord. Mm. Because I got an issue. I got a problem. I got something that's keeping me isolated. This, this woman stayed isolated. She stayed broken. She continued to bleed. All while in her heart saying, this has to be my year. Mm -hmm. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I would not be a great teacher or preacher if I did not mention the fact that this is a pivotal year at best. That this ain't like 2016 and 2017. It, it ain't like that. It's not, it's not like 2018. I mean, those were new years and the resolutions meant something. But, but, but I mean, you know, we, we kind of felt like we had something else that we could kind of get away with and done. This ain't like that kind of year. And I don't know if you feel the way I feel, but when 2020 was approaching, it felt different. It, yeah. It didn't feel the way other things felt at, at all. As a matter of fact, there was, le there was more of a level of urgency placed upon me. Oh, God. There was, there was more of this awareness of what has to happen and what has to take place. It just felt different. Not to mention the fact of how prophetic it was just in its numerology. I know you you are a powerful church with a powerful preacher, so I'm sure he's already began to talk to you about how God functions and flows numerically. He is a God that speaks to us prophetically, numerically, and 2020 was not just another year that we entered into. 2020 became significant because it ended a decade and it began a new one. Oh, I wish I had some help in this room. That 2019 was the end of a 10-year cycle. <laughs> I'm coming around the mountain when I come. All right. So, yeah, 2019 ended a 10-year run. from tw for, Yeah, it ended a 10-year moment. It stopped a 10-year growth. It stopped a 10-year deficit. It was supposed to be the end of a particular season within our life. And 2020 births a brand new opportunity for another 10-year run. Hmm. All right. Uh, no, no, no. You're still not with me. So then let's just think about what's happening within this year. Uh, all, the, all of the significant things. We will be voting for a new president within this new run. Come, 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 come now. All right, so then that means leadership is getting ready to shift or stay the same. All right, let me leave that alone. I, I'll get, I'll completely get derailed. But we do know that there is going to be a shift and a change or something kept the same as it were in headship. It's a major shift that's happening within this year. Not to mention that it's also a leap. Yeah. 
<laughs> which means that there has been an extension in months. There's been an extension in our time. There's been an extension in opportunities given and or flow within that moment. It's not just a normal year and it's not just no. a normal opportunity that you are in and sitting in something that is super prophetic it's 2020 Hallelujah. you end up going to the doctor the doctor the optometrist they begin to help you begin to grab and grasp 2020 vision now 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 come here I'm not trying to come for anybody but 2020 is not perfect vision Right. No, 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 no. 2020 is clear. Vision. Oh, God. Oh, okay, okay. Say it, say, it, say it better, Brown. Okay. 2020 is normal vision and it's focused vision, but it's not perfect vision. You'd have to go larger than that in order for it to be. It means that within 20 feet, you can see the thing clear. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Oh, that, uh, I just heard that. Within 20 kilometers, within 20 paces, within 20 feet, within 20 days, within 20 months, within 20 years, I can put things into better focus. I can kind of clarify a little bit clearer what it is. And so God used the last 10 years to sit me in the optometrist chair to ask me question, is it one or is it two? I, I wish I had half the help in the room. Is it A or is it B? I, I wish I had some help. And one of those years was that hazy year where I couldn't see much of nothing happening within my life. And then another year it flipped and I was able to see it a little bit better, but I still couldn't read that last couple of lines that they were trying to show me. God has been putting vision before me and he's been attempting to adjust my ability to see it and now he's moved me into an opportunity where I should be able to focus and unfortunately I don't feel the focus in me. One or two. A or B. Is this better or is this worse? Is it clearer or is it fuzzy? Hmm. And you're sitting in that chair straining. Lord, I'm coming around the mountain when I come. Yeah. You're, oh. you're sitting in the chair straining to see with a machine that's supposed to alleviate strain. Okay, I'm just up here, just me and the preachers. Let me, let me say it one more time. I said that you're sitting in the optometrist's chair straining to see with a machine that's supposed to alleviate strain. Why are you squinting with a machine that's supposed to help you? No, 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 no. No, you're trying to make what's not clear, clear when you don't have to try to do it. The machine is supposed to help you if I'm honest enough with the fact that I really can't see what I thought I could see at that moment. And you're still stressing yourself. Why? Because you know you got an issue. That's still leaking. <laughs> and uh, it's my year. But I'm straining. It's my year. And I can't focus. It's my year. And what I thought was helping is not really helping because I still have headaches. Mm -hmm. You know, if I strain too hard, I'm putting extra work on things that are not supposed to work that hard. And so now I've created another problem based upon my strain. Oh God, I wish I had some help in the room. It'd be okay if all I had to deal with was a issue. But when I have an issue, then it means that there are possibilities of other issues popping up simply because I'm stuck within this spot and I cannot get out because I don't feel like I have the ability to get out and I've tried everything. The Bible says she spit everything attempting to work on her issue and instead of it getting better, 
Now it's hard to talk about something getting worse in church. <laughs> I thought GT said they were with me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's uh it's hard to talk about. And this thing ain't getting no better. <laughs> I better pray. <laughs> Ain't no better. Uh, I don't fast yeah. or fast to do. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we say, right? Yeah. And no better. Yeah. Uh, I serve. Yeah. No better. I'm still straight. And it's easier to just shut down and go on autopilot <coughs> because it got me through the last 10 years. Because I'm okay as long as I really don't want it. I got used to the bleeding. So now I've made that my normal. Amen. I'm, I know how to pack my wounds. I'm used to feeling weak. I've made my weak moment my normal moment. Oh, yeah. I know how to supplement the life that I'm losing. So now I try to run for things like um, self-care. Using it as a blanket because my normal keeps me bleeding and so I'm using going on vacation as a substitute. I'm using, I just need a little bit of time, you know, away from my assignment as substitute. I'm using the fact that, you know, I'm just not going to do all the stuff that I used to do before because I need some time for me as substitute. Oh, I'm coming down your road. Stay, stay just as tight as you are. I'm on the way. I'm using this new boot as my substitute because I'm used to this or I'm used to just going off on people I'm used to that I've made my abnormal normal but I don't want to see anything clear here's what the doctor said to me Bishop and uh, I'm going to have to bite the bullet, but this is what he said. The optometrist said to me. He said, uh, uh, when I was doing the little thing, I was straining, right? I was like, oh, no, this is good right here. But, 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 but he had the x-ray of my eye. And based upon the x-ray of my eye and the confession of my mouth, it didn't match. <laughs> this is good right here. <laughs> he like, ain't no way this is good. No, 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 I want you to come on in the room. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want you to come on in the room. Yeah, no, 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 no. So I was telling him, oh, no, no, I can see it. But then he looked at that x-ray and said, you sure? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> and, and, and he, so Here's what he said because, you know, he's not condemning. The doctor wasn't condemning me. He was attempting to coax me along with the things that, that are going to help me. And, and, and here's what he said. Um, you're going to need bifocals. <laughs> I'm way too young. I ain't reached that age yet. You're going to have that long line tweaks my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I can still cover you. Because I can make it where there is no line. Come on. <laughs> wow, my.
my God, man. <laughs> oh my God. Hallelujah. And every one of my complaints dealt with my issue and keeping it because I'm used to it. But every one of his solutions dealt with something different and I didn't want to hear it because I did not want to want it. He said, it's okay. You don't have to get it right now. Yeah. We'll fill it the way you asked for it. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh. I, I, hope you, I hope you're starting to find yourself. I, he, said, he said, I'll fill it just like you asked for it. Because you asked for it out of your issue. So I'm going to give it to you just like that. But here's what he said. He said, eventually, you're going to reach a point to where I'm not going to have to convince you to come get it. But your eyesight is going to talk to you so loud that you're going to have to hear what you don't want to see. Uh-oh. Oh, good God from all my... Did you just hear what I said? He said that eventually you're going to have to hear even though you can't... Would you grab somebody by the hand and tell them this morning you're getting ready to hear what you did not want to see. Yet this is your Bible, but that Bible you were looking at and now you ain't got to look at it. You're getting ready to hear something that's going to break you free. You're getting ready to hear something that's going to move you from one place to the next. And the Bible says that as long as she looked at the law, she stayed in her room. But she heard that Jesus was passing by and something within her shifted in her mind, within her expectation. And now the thing that I never thought I wanted, now the thing that I kept denying that I ever wanted, I found out that I really do want it. Is there anybody in this room that can stand up and sit back down and shout, I really want it? I really want it. Oh, not, 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 uh, those of you that stayed seated, I get it. You're still trying to deny the fact that you need my focus. But there's some of us that have already gone through the loops and the hoops. There's some of us who's already fallen over too many things. There's some of us uh, who's already stuck our toe in the dark. Uh, and I'm tired of pain that I can avoid. A toro Would you grab somebody by the hand and tell them I'm not going to experience no more pain. That I can avoid because I want what I want and I'm going to get it. Shot somebody a high five and shout, I want it. Oh my God, I died that son. Lord, I, I hear music over my head. It's, it's too early, but I, oh, I feel like preaching right there. Would you grab somebody by the hand and tell them I want it? I want it. I want it. I want it. Yeah. I want it. kept trying to make it make it fit. I kept trying to say, well, you know, this is just what God has for me, and uh, maybe this is what it is, and so I'm going to make lemonade out of lemons. Listen to me. I'm tired of lemonade. I don't want to put no more sugar in something that's sour. I want what I asked for, and it was not lemons. Would you, would you grab somebody and shake them like you're going to shake them crazy and tell them, throw the lemons back. Back. When life gives you lemons, I'm no longer making lemonade. I'm throwing every lemon. Hallelujah. Bishop, you don't have to continue to make lemonade this year. This year, the Lord says you can toss every lemon back. 
because I'm getting ready to bring what you asked for in the ministry out of the ministry. And I'm going, Marosa Tobahaya, and I'm getting ready to put your pain in the press. And everything that was once a stoppage is getting ready to leave. And God says, freedom is coming to your house. And there'll be no more struggle. It's okay for you to want it. It's okay. My God, would y'all put your hands to this great bishop up here and tell him it's okay to want it? Now that you minister to the man of God, minister to your man of God and tell him it's okay to want it. Minister to your woman of God, tell her it's okay to want it. Now I want you to lay hands on yourself and shout, I want it. Now open up your mouth and make a praise unto God right there. You see that I'm not done. I got a little bit, I got a little bit more to go. I'm not, no, no, no. I'm not going to accept anything less than what I felt in my spirit. I'm not going to accept anything less than what I, yeah, than what I've been seeing or saw before my issues started coming. No, no, no. If it's, yes, if it's going to be built in this year, it's going to be built. Y'all ain't, I wish I had some. If I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. Come hell or high water, it won't be because I didn't try. Because I'm getting ready to get my option back. Because I want it. I want my marriage. I'm my roast. Oh, I wish I had some help in this room. I want to finish school. I want to get the promotion. I want to, I want it. tells me I'm still bleeding and I need to stay isolated and I can't go outside of this particular issue so now I want something but she had to overcome some barriers before she before she got it and one of those barriers she had to overcome we've already mentioned it but it's worth mentioning now is traditionalism that thing stop you, man. Amen. And she would have worshipped tradition more than she worshipped the God of the tradition. Good God Almighty, man. Traditionalism. Yeah. She would have stayed locked yeah. within the four walls. No. Oh. Good God Almighty, yeah. man. So I had to go against what was once a tradition he in the yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, No, 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 no. I want you to come back in the room. See, I know, I know, I know it. We always done it like that. But do you know that, yeah, that the death of any organization, that the death of my growth, that the death of my next oh, level is down. found within that statement? This is how we've always done it. Oh. But if I worship how we've always done it, I'll never get to how I want it done. And so I'm going to have to break free from what I'm used to and grab a hole to where I'm going. Grab somebody by the hand and tell them break the tradition. Break that tradition. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Everybody said that that's how it's supposed to be. But everybody else ain't pleading like you. I can care less what you think. I can care less what you say. I'm going to have to break this tradition and move into what God is calling because I'm no longer going to be held up. I'm going to get it. Yes, under the vocal. I'm going to pull a Donald Trump. I ain't waiting for no vote. I'm going to veto the vote. I'm going to do what I want to do. Oh, God. If I, if, I, if, if, I, if I could praise anything he does, it is the fact that I don't care what they say. I'm going to do what I want to do, period, because this is what I want. I'm going to create an executive order. And the executive 
executive order is in my favor. Uh oh, wait, 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 wait now, wait now. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you um, a grace to be selfish for just one moment and tell your neighbor, I'm getting ready to make an executive order. Tell them, tell them, and tell them this executive order is in my favor this time. Yeah. It ain't got nothing to do with anything else or anybody else, but I'm about to make an executive order in my favor. I'm no longer going to put up with your attitude. I'm making an executive order. I'm no longer going to put up with your criticism. I'm making an executive order. I'm no longer going to put up with you telling me what I can't. I'm making an executive order and I'm breaking tradition. She had to break tradition. Yes. <laughs> she had to be willing to go against the status quo in order to get something that you never had. You got to do. Do something you never did. You never done. Come on, Bishop. And no bishop they haven't done it like that before. Yeah. But this is new glory. Yeah. Shanda. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. It's new. You step right on out here because I ain't scared of none of y'all. I'm pretty big. It's new. I can handle my own. Come on. I said this is new. New glow. Thank God. Yes. Oh, we're not going to get rid of how we understand and love it. Oh, but there's Santa. something bigger. There's something greater. And it's called the city of glory, not just the tabernacle. Habakoro Sotoya, you are glory. You're worshiping the tabernacle called glory, but we're trying to move to the city. Easy, Bishop. <laughs> yeah. You might not all be with me at this moment, but if you are with me, I want you to shout as loud as you can. Hallelujah! This is new glory. We needed the tabernacle before we could go to the city, but now that we got the tabernacle established, we need to move on to the next place, which means build the city. Slap three people a high five and shout, build the city! You're going to have to learn how to break traditions because everybody in your family may not have done it quite like that. But you're going to have to be the one to do it just a little bit different. I know it. They ain't going to like you. They're going to try to say you're trying to be such and much. Y'all ain't talking. You, 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 oh, you're trying to be all proper now. But wait a minute. Where was you whenever I was raising you? Thank you for how you did when you raised me. What do I owe you so I can get out of your pocket? But I know no going to be under subservient to what this family used to do. I'm going to break the tradition. Y'all acted the fool. I'm going to have some sense. <laughs> yeah. That's why I got all about it. About it. Yeah. I want it, want it. Come on. Good God Almighty, I got it on tape. She had to break <laughs> tradition. I got it. <laughs> oh, I can ride that for a while, but I, I got it. My time keeps on ticking. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, so, so she broke, she broke tradition. She just went against it. Now, now understand when she broke that tradition, she she had to understand a couple of things with that particular piece that there were going to be people who were going to look at her different. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm still bleeding. Mm -hmm. mm. I, I'll get to that in a minute. Here's the next thing she had to overcome. You ready for this? Alternative methods. All right. All right. Come on. <laughs> she had to break alternative methods. Yeah. Oh, I want. I want to see how many. How many. How many uh, happy folk I'm gonna have with this? Because. 
The scripture says very plainly that she spent all oh. trying to get better right. and never did, which meant she did all other things other than the right thing. Oh God, oh, oh, oh God. I mean, oh, oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let, 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 I, I can say it better. I can put brown gravy on it. Here we go. Uh, here, here's brown gravy. Okay. She did good things, but not God things. Amen. And every good thing is not necessarily a God thing. I know it's good, but is it actually God? All things are lawful, but not all things are. I get it. It's good. But is that God? Amen. Huh? She had to get rid of alternative methods. Okay, so you don't have to build your own ministry when we got a lot of ministry within the building to build. Uh oh. We need more leaders in the house than out the house. And I'm trying to figure out how you start in the ministry when you build nothing here. I gave you the youth department. I ain't seen nothing happen there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I gave you the prison. Come on. I gave you the senior citizens. I gave you something to build here, and I didn't see anything, but... Oh, I done lost half of that. I got the pulpit back though, but, but I lost the pulpit. I still got y'all. I still no, 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 hear me now. I, I'm not trying to knock it. I do think that there's some things that you got to do, but you do it in, then out, not out without in. I said you do it in and then out, not out without in. Yes, that I want what I work on. Uh -oh. The way that I end up getting what I want is by making sure that what happens in this vision comes to pass. Oh, oh no, 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 no. See, the way God gives promotion is by serving. Hallelujah. I tell you. And if I want my vision to proliferate, then I need to make somebody else's vision proliferate. And so instead of me trying to do my own thing, alternative method, I go back to the right thing, a God thing. And whatever needs to be built within this place, I'll give my energy to it. And understanding that if I give energy there, God will put energy there. And I won't have to build it. God will build it for me. I won't have to promote myself. My name will go in the wind because I serve properly. Tell somebody, get rid of alternative methods. No, you put money in the wrong place. You wouldn't have to spend all that money in a psychiatrist if you come to Bible study. Come on. Oh, yes. Woo! Woo! Listen, it's going to be another two years before I can come back here. I'll come back next month. <laughs> the money you just gave that that psychiatrist, $150 for an hour, was the seed that was asked in Bible study that you missed. And what she told you or he told you was the exact same thing that was taught in Bible study if I would have applied myself, but I tried to use an, alter uh, an alternative mo method. Now, now wait, wait, before you, before you start saying, is he against counseling? Oh, absolutely not. I believe that you should have counseling, but understand that, yeah, that having a couch without consecration ain't gonna work. You, no, 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 no. You didn't, you didn't hear what I said. I said, you need a couch, but you also need consecration. So that means I got to sit here and listen to what's coming from the pulpit, then apply what's coming from the pulpit, then go get on a couch and let my consecration mix with my couch moment. Now I have something better than I had before. <laughs> Preach 
Maybe I should just kept preaching trauma because this ain't a. He said. You got to get rid of alternative methods. Uh, no, 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 he can't live with you. All right. All right. Uh oh. Because while he wasn't living with you, at least you was faithful. You didn't have much money, but you were faithful now that he done moved in. We don't see you no more. My Lord. All right, I'm going to need an organ in just a minute. I'm going to need B flat or something. At least Leslie won't, won't leave you. I'm talking about that right there. Yeah. It's called a Leslie. Yes. <laughs> I'm using an alternative. No, you can't use other stuff. Okay, you don't you don't believe it like that. Let's give it to you how God says it. There is only one way. All right. <laughs> He's yes. He said, "I am the way." I, I wish I, I wish I wish I had some help. Yeah, the truth and the life. No man can come to the Father but by me. Yeah. So then if I really, really want it, yeah. If I really, really want a shift and a change, I can't get around God. I have to go in and would you grab somebody by the hand and tell him he's too big for you to go around. Yeah, he's too high for you to come over. You must come in to God. You must come through God. You can't get it outside of the church. You have to get it through. Yeah. Perhaps if I know this 21st century church kind of feels like, not you, but just the whole atmosphere kind of feels like we can get what we need without God. Oh, no, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you let this marketplace ministry craze fool you. Yes. God believes in marketplace ministry. I do. I have one. But marketplace ministry is part and parcel of the church, not separated from it. I don't need to be coughing on Sunday. I need to be sitting and learning. Sunday. I don't need to be streaming when I can be in the building. Well, all right. All right. Come on. It's going to get better in a minute. All I got is a minute, so uh, it's going to have to get better. She got rid of alternative methods. Uh oh. The next thing she had to get rid of people. Mm. All right. I had to get away from people' opinion. Mm. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh. Because they can mean well, yeah. but what they mean well ain't well for me. Yeah. All right. That if she would have stayed connected to people who don't know her destiny, yeah. then they would have advised her, don't leave that house. Right. Right. Don't leave that room. Yeah. Right. Don't leave that job. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Don't leave that activity. Don't Yes, don't leave that mindset because they were going to give advice based upon where she was. Wow. Right. Wow. Oh God. But, yeah. but I don't need anybody to talk to me about where I am. I need somebody who's going to talk to me about where I'm going. Y'all yeah. not hear what I'm saying? I don't want you to look at my current situation and make an assessment based upon that. I need you to be able to see further than where I am and give me some advice, right? Would you look at somebody and tell them I need somebody to speak to my future? <laughs> Hallelujah. Your advice works well for where I am, but I don't plan to be in here but about another week. Uh-oh, I feel like prophesying to somebody in this room. You came to glory tabernacle this morning and the Lord wanted to let you know that you're, you're going to only be in it for about another week that after this week you're going to have an opportunity to step outside of the box of what you were before you got here because God says you're going to get rid of people who might mean well but what they mean ain't well for you and finally she had to get rid mm. of fear. Mm. Yeah. All 
Right. She had to be willing to break free of fear. That I'm afraid, we're back at it now, to want it. Come on. And so even though you made the declaration, fear still creeped up. Come on. Because what if it doesn't work? What if this time it doesn't Come on, bitch. <laughs> what if I try and it fails? Oh. What if I step out and I fall? I got security on the 15th and the 30th. But God is calling me away from a nine to five to my own. Wow. And if I oh, if I walk out in this entrepreneur world, if it doesn't work, I've just given up 15 years of oh, 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 and I'll mess up retirement. I'm, oh, I wish I had some help. Come on, so I'm, up. So, so, so I'm a bit afraid to step out there because in there was security, but out here I don't feel like I have. The, is there anybody in this room? Now, now this has nothing to do with your anointing or anything, but it has everything to do with the fact that you are human. And I know I got security there, but I don't know if I'm going to have security out there. And so if I step out and it fails, what's going to be plan B? And your plan B has you paralyzed. Because no. until you can get plan B together, you won't move forward in plan A. But oh, I came this morning to tell you that you're going to have to annex. You're going to have to 86. You're going to have to put in the trash plan B. That God doesn't operate on plan B. God always operates only on plan A. Grab somebody by the hand. Hey, we might as well preach now. I feel like heaven for I said grab somebody and rock them and shake them. Hey, shake them and rock them. And tell I said it. I said, tell neighbor, uh, tell that neighbor that I'm getting ready to get rid of my fear. And this is how you're going to know I'm getting rid of plan B. That if God doesn't help one work, I'm not worried about two happening. I, oh, Shia, you don't Okay, so then let's say it like this. Oh, my, uh, the woman said, I'm here that God Jesus is passing by. And he is the only one that's able to help me. Every other physician has failed me. Every other thought has failed me. It's all right, I got it. Every other opportunity has ran by. Shake my fear, and I'm gonna go straight out and touch Jesus. Grab somebody and say, God, He's ready to test your faith. Uh oh, yes, sir. See, faith is not faith until you step out on nothing. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for.
your supper for you. Uh, yeah, look at that name. Uh, and tell him I'm sick uh, of living in a box. I'm sick uh, of trying to make a dollar uh, out of 15 cents. Uh, that this is not living. Uh, and the only way uh, I can have life more abundantly uh, is if I break free uh, of every fear that I have. Uh, grab somebody uh, and say 2020. Uh, Stepping out of my fear. I'm stepping past some of the people. I'm breaking these traditions and I'm getting rid of alternative motives. And I'm going to get it this year. I don't have to wait for another 10 years. I'm going to have it within this four months. Say ah, say ah, say ah.